So today we're going to be going over how to make um, a 2x2 two two LEGO Bricks Confusion 360. So keep in mind, we're going to be referring to, um, oops, we're going to be, sorry about that, we're going to be referring to this drawing right here, with, uh, that includes all the different measurements for all the different parts of the LEGO Bricks. So you can see right here, like, the side of this LEGO Brick is 16 millimeter. this cylinder over here has a diameter of 4.8 millimeters. And so all these sizes and lengths right here are real, like, they are life size. So if I were to have someone print, print it out for me or have a CNC machine, like, make it, it would be able to be used as an actual Lego brick. Okay, so we're going to be using, we're going to be basing all of our um, sketches and everything off of uh, this drawing right here. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, let's create a new project or new design. And make sure you're in the correct project where you want to save it. We're going to start off with the sketch. And since the Lego brick is sitting on this bottom plane right here, I'm going to click this. So I'm going to start off by um, drawing this base of the, uh, of the Lego brick right here. So the bottom base. Okay. So let's go over here. I'm going to choose this plane. And I'm going to draw, what, it, what was it? The... 16 by 16 rectangle. So right here, the create, I'm actually going to use a center rectangle because so I can keep the center of my Lego brick at the center of the design. So right here, rectangle, 16, tab, 16. And hit enter, boom, okay? So we can zoom in. My, my mouse lets me zoom in. Let's do this. Okay, so 16 by 16, right? So if you did the center rectangle with the origin at the center, everything should turn black, and that means it's fully constrained, okay? So I'm gonna finish sketch, and now I'm going to extrude it. So how high or how tall do I need to extrude it? All right, so let's take a look. If we open up, um, where'd it go? Right here, okay. Take a look at how tall this is. So this from this point to this point, right? So that's also 9.6 millimeters from here to here. So 9.6. I'm going to extrude it by 9.6. This profile up 9.6. I can type that in. Hit enter. It's done. Okay, so now this is life size right here. Now keep in mind this is the top. You can see on this view cube right here it says top. I'm going to create next my uh, cylinders, these small studs on the top, All right? And these sit on top of the top of the uh, rectangular prism, so that's where I'm gonna create my sketch for them. So I'm gonna create a sketch on top right here, and circles. So we need to know how big this circle is. We can't just create a random size circle because that won't work with other Lego bricks. So we can take a look at the dimensions again. So 4.8 millimeters, that's how wide this circle is right here. So that is what I'm going to make my circle. Okay. Uh, to dimension, right, hit D on my keyboard or I go under create and click sketch dimension. And I click my circle, click again, and then type in my number. So it's 4.8. Okay, and so we need to do four more of those. Hit D, click the circle, click again, 4.8, enter. Uh, circle, D, click, 4.8, enter, circle, uh, click, dimension, click, click, 4.8, enter. So now all my four circles are the same size, but they don't look that good because they're not in the correct position, right? So you can try to arrange them, but that won't get you exactly where they need to be. Um, either. So what we have in, in the drawing is some dimensions right here that tell us how far the center of these, this circle is from the edge. So right here you can see this edge over here. It's for the center of the circle, which this purple line goes through like this, is four millimeters away. And same thing on this side, right? This purple line goes through here to this red line. And it's four millimeters from this edge, this long edge over here. The center of the circle is four millimeters this way and four millimeters this way. So that's exactly what we're going to draw in our um, drawing right here. 
And so if you remember from last class, we have something called a construction line. So these lines won't interfere with the actual profiles of the drawing. So we could use those by clicking this. And now we can use a line or L, short for keys L. And we can draw a line from the center to the edge right here. Right. We can draw another line from the center to the edge right here. And we can dimension them by clicking on this line. So here, click again and type in four, hit enter. And same thing for this line, four, enter. So luckily for us, that circle is already in place, right? So we know that it's in place for sure because everything is black and we know that the center of the circle is four millimeters from each side of the Lego brick, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So we do another two construction lines from the center to the edge, center to the other edge, okay? Once again, dimension them, four, enter, four, enter. Okay, so everything's black, four millimeters from this edge, four millimeters from this edge, right? As you can see, two dimensions per point. So once again, more lines, same thing, right? Okay, D, click the construction line, and we're gonna type in the correct number, four, for this line as well. So one more time. And so notice how this circle's blue, right? That means it's not constrained. So these circles are all black. This circle's the only blue one, so we need to finish constraining this. And when you're making these lines, um, I'll show it one, one more time. Make sure you are uh, doing it at a 90 degree angle with this um, with this edge right here or else it doesn't work. Right? If you do it like this, it doesn't matter if it's four or not. So it needs to be a 90 degree angle. So you can see that this little blue square right here shows that it's 90, it's a right angle. So we can click and dimension like this. Four, enter, and one more this way. So those are our construction lines and our circles, right? So we can finish sketch. And now we want to extrude these four upwards, but by how much? So what we have to do is look at the sketch or look at the drawing again, take a look at how high this circle is. So right here, we can see that this part of the box is 9.6, which we extruded just now. And this entire part, entire block up to the top of the cylinder is 11.2. So if you do some math, 11.2 minus um, 9.6 is actually, I don't know off the top of my head. So what we can actually do is we can extrude it, click all the profiles that we want to extrude, and we can actually input an, an equation into here or an expression. So you can do 11.2 minus 9.6. And so that will be our extrusion uh, length. Is that okay? And then that is the Lego brick right here. So now we need to focus on the bottom. So this bottom part needs to be able to connect with other Lego bricks, right? So we need to hollow it out and then do other things with it. So to hollow it out, we need to take a look at our drawing again. So what is the thickness of the wall, right? So we can see over here, 1.6 is the thickness of the wall. And that's how much we need to keep when we're hollowing it, hollowing it out. Okay, so we're going to hollow it out with an extrusion of, of another square into the block. And then we're going to re-extrude this cylinder part right here. Okay, so we're going to start a sketch. Or we could use an, our old sketch right here, which actually I'm going to do. So double-click on the first sketch. And now we're back at this original sketch. And once again, the wall thickness was 1.6. So I'm actually going to create another center rectangle. Or actually, I could actually use an offset. So under modify, there's this tool called offset, or shortcut key is O. Um, we went over this last class, so if you click over, if you click on any line, it will uh, create an offset of it. So we need to offset it inwards by 1.6 millimeters. Just make this 1.6 right there. So that is this right here, from here, this red line to this blue line, that's gonna be our wall thickness. And we hit okay, boom, that's done, right? And we can finish the sketch 
and you notice it's disappeared so we need to go under sketches and we need to open it again now we have this sketch over here that we can extrude so once again we don't just extrude it to a random height we need to make sure uh, we need to make sure we know how deep it goes into the block so right here it leaves it extrudes all the way until there's only 1.6 millimeters left at the top right so we can figure that out by taking this part right here which corresponds to this part over here and we can do 9.6 minus 1.6 so that would be 8 millimeters and once again you can do the equation and we do the extrude click on just this part we're going to take this part and we're going to drag it into the box so you notice it turns red and it's kind of hollow we want this to go all the way up until there's only 1.6 millimeters remaining and that much distance is eight millimeters deep you can see right here if we remember the wall thickness was 1.6 and the top part right here is also 1.6 so this looks correct and we hit okay make sure the operation is cut right here if it's joined it won't work it just won't do anything so you want to cut into the block and hit okay boom there we go okay and we don't need this sketch anymore actually we're going to need it again my bad next part we need to create is this circle right here right, we have all the dimensions over here all we have to do is create a sketch and extrude it or um, yeah we just have to create a sketch and extrude it so we'll close this part we're going to go back into that first sketch where we edited this uh, rectangle and we're going to create a uh, center diameter circle from the center right and how much is it let's take a look right here the bigger one 6.4 millimeters in diameter 4.8 millimeters in diameter for the smaller circle so let's close this and oops that is not correct uh, but we can actually just dimension this so 4.8 for the smaller circle and I forgot I forgot the bigger one 6.4 for this uh, for the bigger one the circle again dimension 6.4 boom so that looks about right if we compare it to what we have over here that looks pretty similar in thickness now what we need to do is extrude all the way to the top right here we're going to do just that uh, go to position so finish sketch so there are two ways we could do it we could either extrude it just regularly click this part and extrude it all the way to the top right here or we could remember we cut out this part right here cut we hollowed it out so we can instead of extruding this part instead of extruding this profile what we can do is not cut out um, this circle part so what I mean by that is if I double click and edit this extrusion right here I cannot include this part right here and then now that will remain as a solid and the rest everything around it will be cut so if I hit okay you can see that everything um, in this box got cut away this part and the circle in the middle everything but that this circle right here got cut out okay so you can do it like that or you can if you don't want to you can click on an extrude you can extrude it all the way up and so remember the distance right is eight millimeters from the bottom to all the way to the top of that uh, plane over there so you can just type in eight right here hit enter okay and so go under bodies and make sure there's just one body okay all right um, but i'm actually going to do it the other way so double click and deselect this part and hit okay so this way it saves me one um, event in the timeline that's that's uh, that's how I keep my stuff organized okay let's go back here all right so now we need to create the dimples final part and we can see that these dimples go from the bottom right here all the way to the top of this plane right here this uh, it's like 1.6 again okay and we can see the diameter right here is 3.2 millimeters so we're gonna do exactly that and we will create our sketch on the bottom of the inside right there so we're going to close this and create a sketch on this plane this time inside right there Oops. turn off the sketch first 
I'm going to click this plane right here. I'm going to draw circles here, but I don't know exactly where to draw it. And but we do know, we do know that they 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 share the same center as these cylinders that we did up here. But I don't want to draw the four millimeter lines one again and dimension them again because that takes a lot of time. So what I can do is something called project geometry. So under create, there's this tool called project slash include. And if you click project, this dialog right here will pop up, and you can actually click different parts of uh, the model and it will like like a projector it'll project it onto this um, the current sketch that you're working on so I'm going to choose the tops of all these circles and you can see this red circle kind of pop up on the bottom so that's what happens it's getting projected onto this plane that we're currently working on this sketch right so I can click all of them hit OK now I had the circles and their centers so I can, if I turn off the uh, body right here, these are the circles that were projected right here. Right, so now I can use these as a reference and make, make, my, um, make my sketches for the dimples, right? So since they share the same center, I can make them uh, draw a center diameter circle at the same point where uh, the center of this cylinder is located. So 3.2 millimeters. circle right here and we know this is the center so 3.2 enter and so it's black because this is constrained to this right 3.2 so you can see this is a lot more it's a lot faster than drawing four lines once again okay there we go and that's done finish sketch and now we are going to extrude it I'll end by the way because these uh, circles right here are not actually part of the sketch, we can actually click on them, press X, and turn them into construction lines. Click, or you can click on this, turn them into construct construction lines. Just like that. So now they aren't profiles that we can extrude. So now we only want to be able to extrude these ones, right? So we're going to extrude now, E. I'm going to click 1, 2, 3, 4, and they all go we look again, a depth of 1.6 millimeters. Okay, and so that's how deep we're going to cut into the block, right? So up, 1.6, negative 1.6. Right, so now make sure it's cut right here, not joined. Hit OK. And boom, there we go. And I'm just going to add a color, maybe. I'm going to paint maybe glossy blue. Yeah. And that's it. That is how you create a Lego brick. And actually, I'm pretty sure these are the actual dimensions of an actual Lego brick. But um, if it's not, it doesn't matter. As long as you're following the drawing right here. Um, that's basically this exercise. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.